Well, I was watching a uh, video from the Cobra 49, and he was talking about uh, Tokarov. And he had an M57. This is an M78. I got an M57, same basic design. But what I thought was interesting, his M57 had a safety that came up from under the grip. Now, mine is machined in on both the M70A and the M57, machined right in the slide. You know, it's a, it's a different kind of setup. Because what this one actually does, it toggles up and blocks the firing pin. You know, that piece comes up there. Now, the one he had, actually, it would come up from the grip, but it actually went into a, a notch and a mechanism itself. You know, on the trigger. You know, it stopped you from pulling the trigger. Whereas this one stops you from uh, being able to hit the firing pin. So, you know, in theory, I mean, you, you can you can carry it with a hammer down with a round in the chamber and it can't go forward until you actually flip it to fire. But I thought that was a difference that I was not aware of. But you can see that block, you know, completely goes over the firing pin. Well, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, it's the same. Like I say, this is M78, it's the same as the M57. It just, his must have been an older M57. Because I know it was, a, it was a problem when they were trying to import them because of the lack of a safety. So they tried different ways of putting safety on. But this is what Zestavo was doing. You know, they got it bored right in there. And, you know, it, it's, as far as the safety goes, I mean, it's pretty secure when you can block that. My macro works much in the same way. It just blocks the, the firing pin. So, like I said, you could have the hammer down on it. It really wouldn't matter. But they're a nice little gun. You know, for the money, I mean, they were... Oh, God, I, I, they were dirt cheap when they were selling them here. You know, you could buy one. <laughs> For, uh, I think, days I, I was like $175 or something. And, like I said, I don't actually shoot this all that much because if I'm going to take uh, one of these Tokro designs out, it's going to be the the regular M57, where you've got the toker of round in it. But I did buy this one only because I don't actually own a 9mm, you know, because an ac macro is not really a 9mm. So I wanted one of these just to kind of round things out. And because, like say, even now, I was tempted to buy some 9mm the other day because it's, it's available now. But it would be kind of foolish. I mean, I've got quite a little of the surplus stuff kicking around that I don't even know where this is from. I uh, can't make it out. But I know uh, I have been sent a lot of the, the Chinese stuff. The same, I've got a lot of the, the regular toker of ammunition that is Chinese. And of course, corrosive, but it ain't that hard to take them apart and clean them. But they're a little good, good little gun for the money. You know, they're uh, the only, the only problem I find with them, 
Well, there's two things. They do have uh, where you got to have a mag in them to be able to pull the trigger. You know, it won't release unless the mag is in. And it's hard for me to get used to uh, this grip angle. Uh, I'm, I'm used to like a 1911, uh, which is angled quite a little more. This is so close to being straight up and down, it always throws me off a little. I mean, if you're shooting instinctively, intuitively, um, if you're using the sights, of course, it doesn't matter, though you, you feel like you get an odd crick. But, you know, interesting that his safety was, like I say, built under the grip. I hadn't seen that before, but I would be hesitating. You know, uh, this at least doesn't interfere with the function of the gun. I would think, you know, the way the trigger works on these is kind of a yoke arrangement. I, I would almost think that would weaken it, but... Well, you shouldn't be pounding on the trigger that hard, I guess. Well, let me see. Well, no, I can't do it. If you have the safety on, well, it's locked anyway, but you can, in theory, have one in the chamber. If you pull the hammer back slightly, then block it with that. You can't go forward. You have to take the safety off before the hammer can actually hit the firing pin. So it's secure in its own freakish way. I think they don't shoot that. I haven't shot that for a while. 